friends. Happy Saturday. Okay, so <clears throat> I got up early, changed the new baby, which no, he does not have a name yet. Um, <laughs> I've had a really hard time naming him and I don't know why. Um, I, there's so many good boy names. I've used a lot of them in the past. Uh, I may repeat a name. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to take my time because I don't want to rush. And I know I got the babies literally a week and a half apart from each other. So I feel that may be the, the reason why I'm having a hard time. Um, uh, just really can't put my finger on it. So anyway, I went on a little haul. Well, I have a little haul for you guys to see. Um, yesterday, we went out to dinner had a fabulous time and I took the new baby with me. If you guys were on Instagram, you would have seen the photo in a little mini video clip. And <clears throat> we walked across to Baby's RS and I wanted to see what they had. And you know what? I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> Even the clearance was too expensive for me. I think one of the outfits, the cheapest I seen in the newborn boy was $12.98 and there was no additional uh, percentage off besides what it was already marked down. Now there was some things that would have fit Andrew but um, I like them but I didn't really love them. So let's just say I didn't buy any clothes there and to be frank I've been really spoiled and really lucky with my thrifting finds and going to Once Upon a Child and getting the dollar um, clothes that spending $15 on an outfit right now, I was literally like, are you serious? I could get a whole bag. <laughs> Not to say every time I go to Once Upon a Child, they're going to have dollar sales, but you know, it just really opened my eyes. And I remember thrifting a lot when I first got into the hobby. And as I grew into the hobby, I stopped, um, for a various amount of reasons. And I did more yard selling than actually thrifting. And now that I have a once upon a child so close to my house, uh, a really great savers, that's where I'm going to start buying a lot of my reborn things. Unless every now and then I have, you know, the need to go buy something new or say I'm in Target because Target is my favorite store. Um, I will buy a baby an outfit every now and then, you know, it's nice to spoil the babies once in a while, but I always want to say thank you to all of you that do thrift and really inspired me to get back on track with that because I love it. So anyway, um, let me just show you what I got at Baby's RS. This is for the new baby. He's out in the living room right now with my husband. But I got him these little Gerber hats and I didn't have this set. This one says baby boy and there's a white one and then there's just a plain blue that he's wearing right now. Then I got him these little pacifiers by Ma'am. One is a fox and one is a raccoon. And I just thought these were just so cute. So yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, now for my thrifting haul. Um, as you can see, Andy is holding one of them right now. I didn't have anything like this to hang from the car seat. And it's a little bug. Isn't he cute? He's by this company right here. And what's cool is you pull and he vibrates and his little feet make noise and he makes noise. So that's going to hang from the car seat when I take my open eyed babies out, especially. Oh, I just love this little boy so much, you guys. It was an instantaneous bond when I got him. I'm telling you, I love him so, so much. Okay, let me walk around. You gotta look at your antiques. Come on. There you go, Andy. Didn't find a buzz. A soft toy buzz light ear. Didn't find one. But anyway, I needed some hangers for the babies. And I was going to go to Walmart and buy baby hangers. But when I was at the thrift store today, you get 15 hangers for 99 cents. So I got yellow, blue, and pink. So now I can hang up some of the um, boys' clothes and Zoe's clothes. That was a killer deal. 
Then I got diapers. Yay. I got diapers. These are size two, so these will fit um, Andrew. And then I got, there was two, let me see. Two honest diapers in there, one with jungle print and then one with Argyle. So these will be for Lucas. So I got this whole pack for $1.99 with these. There was one other package there, but I didn't buy it because I wanted to get some other things. Oh, I just noticed, look, someone wrote on this one. Cutest alarm clock. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe that was at a baby shower or something. So I got those. Then I got these shoes for Andrew. I only paid a dollar for these. And they're just cute little slip-on shoes. They're size 1, 2. And they're soft sole. And they'll go with a lot of outfits. Okay. Let me just put you guys this way. Okay. And then I got the new baby boy. Um, it was a two pack for $1.99. I haven't opened them yet. But there were slippers. And they don't have these. They're monkeys. How cute are those? I have puppies and a bear, and I don't have monkeys, so now I have the monkey ones. And then it came with these, which are like crochet or knitted, I would say, and they have monkeys on them. So I thought these would be cool for winter time. Oops. I really got them for these. <laughs> but anyway, I got this hat for Lucas now. I was intending not to buy anything for Lucas when I was there, but come on. I mean, this hat was super cute. And the cool thing is it's got a strap. You guys know how much I love the hats that have straps. And it's the children's place. And I only paid 99 cents for it. It's three to six months, but it will not fit Andrew's head. I already tried. I put it on Lucas's head and it fits perfectly. So I'm going to iron it and get it all nice and looking cute, but I thought it was the perfect hat for summer. So cute, you guys. Then I got this bucket hat for Lucas as well. It's zero to three months by Koala Baby, and I only paid 99 cents for it, and it is just super cute. Again, this fits his head very, very well. Um, Lucas, not Andrew. I tried it on Andrew, but it's tight <laughs> it doesn't fit his head but I did find this one for Andrew yes isn't it adorable oh my gosh and this is by Jimboree 6 to 12 months it has a little strap and let me show you aunties how adorable your nephew looks Look at that. <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> I can't stand the cuteness. Oh my gosh, this little boy. He is just so adorable. Okay, and then I got the new baby, these little shorts. These were $1.99. They were a little high, but um, there wasn't much selection for a newborn boy, and I really needed shorts for him. So, um... These are by Garanimals. They're super cute. I like the colors. <clears throat> then I got this shirt for Andrew. It's 12 month size, but it's um, pre, you know, washed and everything. So it's like gonna fit more like a, maybe the six month size, but it's got a train on it. And I thought it was really cute, and I love the colors. And this is by Jumping Beans. I think this is by Kohl's. And this was $1.99. Let 
then I got these overalls by Koala Baby Boutique. Now these are zero to three months. So these will fit Lucas. I just had to. Um, I loved, I love the style, the color. It has a little moped right here. It's so cute. And I don't know. I just really loved it. It's lined inside. I mean, it is just a really nice pair of overalls. And they're really lightweight for summer. Would also be really great for the fall. So I got those. I couldn't find any overalls for um, Andrew. But <clears throat> tomorrow we're going to go to another thrift store. And I'm hoping I find find some. Now this right here, I paid $3.99 for. It says three to six months, but I just could not leave it behind, you guys. I don't have a lot of Winnie the Pooh, and when I seen it, I had to have it. It looks almost like in brand new condition. It's a romper. It has a little cricket here, or I'm sorry, a grasshopper, and poo, and a dragonfly, and I just love the colors. It is by Disney Baby. Yep. And I just love it. And I just couldn't leave it behind. I know $4 is probably a little too high, but the condition it's in, I just, like I said, I couldn't leave it behind. So I think it's going to fit Andrew. I'm going to try it on Andrew and see. It may be just a tad bit big for Lucas, but it could fit him. Um, might be really long on him. So my intention was for Andrew. So there we go, ladies. Oh, and the little toy was um, 50 cents. So yeah, I mean, I had a really good day of thrifting. I feel I did. So... And then I have Monday. We're going to go thrifting on Monday with Yasmin. So, um, yeah, I really like these shoes. I just thought they were really handsome. Gray will go with a lot of things. So, yeah. But that hat was like, as soon as I seen it, I just ran over there. And I go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And as soon as I seen the brand and then the size, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. Like 99 cents. That's crazy. Yeah, so I was very excited for that find. Well, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I want to say welcome back to Shannon. Um, I know she's back from vacation. And I have missed her so much and her babies. And what else? What else? Oh, oh! thank you to all of you who have been taping um, and filming from the Rose Doll Show. I know Yvonne from Having You On has been taping, Jackie and Stephanie, um, a few others have been taping from the Rose Doll Show. And I just want to say thank you because it's much appreciated, you know, just to, to be a part of it, even though we weren't able to go this year. And I just wanted to say that the hotel and the venue of where the doll show is at this year, I think it's so nice. I've heard so many good things about it on Facebook. So I'm very excited and I hope, and I think it's going to be there again next year. And if it is, count me in. I am totally going to the doll show next year. I am already going to plan for it. Hubby gave me the thumbs up. So, um, yeah, I am definitely going to go. We're going to make a road trip of it. Um, try to convince Yasmin to go with me. <laughs> I know she will. Um, yeah, and just have fun because I really missed going this year. Not really per se for the show, but for the people. Um, I met a really bunch of nice ladies last year. And one of them was Albie, Albie Wenzel from Angel's Babies Nursery. She was the sweetest person. She was from Australia and she had a booth there at the show last year and I bought a doll from her. 
and she was going this year and this is actually going to be her last year Ugh, and it bummed me out that I couldn't go because I would have loved to have seen her again you know she's coming all the way from Australia but a huge congratulations to her because she sold out on all of her babies in one hour of opening day of the show Wow. I knew that was going to happen because of the prices that she had on her babies. They were a steal for the kits that she was selling, the artwork that she produces. It's really a no brainer to buy one of her babies. And she even um, won an award for her contest toddler baby. I think it was the Fritillin sculpt. I'm not too sure. But just a huge congratulations to her. I'm so proud of her. And she's such a deserving person to win. She is such a sweetheart. And I did notice that a lot of sculptors were not there at the doll show this year as they were last year. Now, Laura Lee Eagles was at the show this year, but wasn't last year. But of course, I didn't see Marina Winters or Bonnie Brown or Emily Jameson. Um, I didn't see those particular um, ladies <clears throat> so the show looked a little smaller to me this year, but I could be wrong. I'm just, you know, going off of what people are filming. I feel that just overall, I feel like the show was bigger last year as far as people and booths. But um, again, you know, I'm going off of what I'm seeing. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Dana. Um for you guys that don't know who she is, um, I will put her link in the description bar. Um, she is mostly on Instagram, but um, she has done a lot of filming at the doll show and she actually lives in Utah and she was a huge help for the Rose doll show. Um, a lot of the vendors that were there this year and she is just the sweetest lady. And it was so great to see footage from her. And she's been posting pictures on Facebook. So huge thank you to Dana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, enough of me going on and on. But have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And hopefully I will find a name for my little one. You know, it'll come. It'll, it'll come to me. I just want to take my time and not rush. Because, you know, I don't want to name him the wrong thing. And then have to come back on and correct it. So I'm just going to be calling him baby. That's it. <laughs> He's just going to be baby boy until I find a name for him. All right. But bye, guys. Toodles. And big kisses from Andrew. Mwah. All right. Bye, guys.